Chief Warrant Officer for Vic Pinion, U.S. Navy retired, telling some stories of my naval career. This is a continuation of, uh, of uh, providing best service to the fleet when I was a ship installations officer at Comfort Westpac in the Philippines. I told you about uh, funding $50,000 worth of work on pre-overhaul work on the Kitty Hawk and the, in cooperation with coming out of our pack. And they would re they would uh, uh, refund me that money later, but I would have to request augmentation of my money. Uh, and I did that. Well, they had changed personal personnel around over there and, and coming out of a pack. And this new GM 14, who didn't know me, was in charge now uh, under the uh, ship and space officer coming out of a pack. But he generated a message in reply to my request for that fifty thousand dollars accusing me of mismanaging our money and demanding that I do a full accounting of it. Well, guess what? We did a full accounting of it. The current ship installations officer at Comfort Pac was the man I relieved at Comfort Westpac. That LDO lieutenant. And it was his office that was responsible for that message, accusing me of wrongdoing, of wasting funds. So we did. They sent a capsule rep from Yakuska, who was the Western Pacific capsule supervisor, down to Subic Bay to investigate how we were wasting those funds. Well, he came down and he was a good man. He was a friend of mine, good capsule rep. He came, hey, babe, what the heck's going on? And I explained it to him. So, well, we've got a reply to this message from Air Pack. And yes, we do. We got with the ship repair facility, who we had a very good rapport with, their financial managers. They did, for the past, my whole tour of duty and the past three years of the, my predecessor's tour of duty, of the expenditures of funds from that budget. And it showed that there had not been any quarter during my tenure where we had spent as much money including that $50,000 on the Kitty Hawk, as they had spent in every quarter of my predecessor's tour of duty to the dollar, my quarter, for the past three years. I drafted that message up, sent it. Well, we had also had some other things going on, like they had had a labor union strike there in the Philippines where they had gained like a big increase in, in funding and in pay for the workers. And so it, that cost more, but a lot of other things. But I'd put that stuff in the budget also, in that message. Well, they came back with approving the $50,000 I'd requested with an, uh, another like accusations, like if I had told them about the labor strikes and so forth, well, I had. I told Arliss Sinks about it, but well, I'm not dealing with Arliss Sinks anymore. I'm dealing with this new guy. But, you know, maybe Arliss didn't tell him. I don't know. But I got my 50000 A lot of people remember bad things. They focus on the negative. Well, that message, that series of messages, that whole action was very laudatory to us there at the Katsu office and, and for me personally as the SI officer. It showed that I was doing, and we were doing, a very good job. Some, a year or so later, something happened, and I'm having to explain myself again, which I was not wrong. We were doing, we, you're always having to explain yourself. Uh, but I had done so. But this commander that was on the staff up in Japan remembered the, ac the accusation letter or uh, message from AirPAC, and he commented, in official document that I had been called on the carpet last year by coming up our pack for wasting money. Wrong, yeah, they had, but they had embarrassed themselves is what happened, not me. Okay, now we go looking for more better ways to, to improve, improve our services to the fleet. Well, I looked at the aircraft maintenance people on the staff and they did several things. 
and, and uh, they communicated with the people they worked with before they left the states on the ships that are coming through, the squadrons and whatnot. And they also uh, went aboard the ship and did a, an arrival inspection upon the ship's arrival. Well, I don't ever remember any of my predecessors ever doing an arrival in the Western Pacific inspection of us. Yeah, they'd come aboard and greet us and welcome us to Westpac, but they didn't walk through and look at the machinery and the admin procedures and so forth. They just, I don't ever recall that being done. So I decided we would do that. But I would send them, because I'm doing inspections on the ship already, I noticed a lot of problems that the ships had, were experiencing that they had been experiencing before they left the States. So I wrote a letter to come never a pact, a naval message, not a letter, listing a whole bunch of those discrepancies that I had discovered that were long-term discrepancies the ships had been experiencing, some of them for years. And that if Come Never Pack would do a pre-deployment inspection a month or so before the ship left the States, they would have time to correct those things before the ship deployed. Well, I sent that message. They replied that they weren't staffed to do such an in-depth inspection, which was wrong. They were staffed to do exactly that. They had the Come Never Pack aircraft handling assistance team. They could have done that inspection quite well. Now, I had been doing it on every ship upon its arrival in Subic Bay, myself, by myself. Surely they could, but they replied they were not staffed to do such an in-depth inspection. Bull crap. They were, they just didn't want to do it. Well, they didn't. I don't know if they do today or not, but it's still a good idea. But I sent the maintenance officers a pre-deployment letter written by me, giving them advice on what to do before they deployed to prepare for the cruise and things to do and how to go about doing them once they were deployed and advising them that I would be doing a, an arrival inspection when they arrived. Well, they all appreciated that letter and they did some of them. Some of them got it off, but most of them did most of those things and it did help on them. It helped them. Well, when they arrived, I would get with them and we would do that walkthrough inspection where a pretty thorough inspection. I'd made up a set of three by five, no, five by eight laminated in inspection cards of things to inspect and what to look for. I made up two sets, one to use during the inspection and to give to the maintenance officer upon completion of the inspection. And then after that, I would do a briefing of the V2 division officers and chiefs and the air boss on what I found, welcomed them to Western Pacific, and advised them of the services we could provide to them. It worked well, they all appreciated. I'm proud of that. There are a whole bunch of other things that we did to help the ships, but I've told enough of them to get y'all started thinking. Y'all carry on.